Shanna Mochler recently spoke out about her ex-husband, Travis Barker, and how extremely toxic his behavior was during their marriage. But she also exposed insane details to prove that he's had the same harmful pattern in all of his relationships. So what exactly does this mean for Courtney? The truth about Travis's manipulative actions and how he's already started to repeat history is absolutely crazy, so let's get into it. It's no secret that Shanna and Travis haven't exactly been on the greatest terms with each other, but not many people know about Travis's ex-wife, Melissa Kennedy, and what ultimately caused their marriage to collapse. Shanna recently made an appearance on an episode of Bunny XO's Dumb Blonde podcast, and she shared the entire story of her relationship with Travis. What she revealed about their first meeting was honestly bizarre. Shanna claimed that when she was first introduced to Travis at a nightclub, he was actually living in a hotel at the time. She explained that he was in the process of divorcing Melissa and didn't want to be at the house with her. Travis and Melissa had gotten married in September 2001 after dating for a super short amount of time. He wasted no time before getting Melissa's name tattooed on his neck and whenever they appeared at events together, they always packed on the PDA. Travis admitted in his 2015 autobiography, can I say that he was constantly looking for other women while he was with Melissa. His bachelor party was no different and he reportedly cheated on her with multiple women that night. Needless to say, he had totally lost interest in Melissa and soon decided to call it quits. In August 2002, just 11 months after they were married, Travis filed for divorce from Melissa. That's the same month that he was introduced to Shanna, but what happened shortly after they first met was seriously surprising. Shanna admitted on the podcast that she instantly felt connected to Travis and added that they were twin flames. They spent as much time together as possible and their relationship was definitely a whirlwind, just like his romance with Melissa had been. Shanna and Travis ended up moving in with each other almost right away and just six months after they met, they learned that they were expecting their first child together, but not long after their son Landon was born, things started to take a truly unbelievable turn. By the time Shanna and Travis got married and welcomed their second baby, Alabama to the world, the fairy tale was long gone. When Bunny asked Shanna if Travis had love bombed her like he did to Courtney at the start of their relationship, her response was shocking. Shanna confirmed that Travis had love bombed her like crazy and had told her everything she wanted to hear. He had even covered up his tattoo of Melissa's name with a rose tattoo and inked Shanna's name inside a heart on his arm. But before Shanna knew it, she was constantly being left at home to take care of their three young children by herself. Even though Shanna has been portrayed in the media as a deadbeat mom, she claimed that that wasn't the case. She explained that pretty much every single night, she was rocking the babies back to sleep, feeding and changing them. Meanwhile, what Travis was doing was absolutely unreal. According to Shanna, Travis didn't help take care of the kids that often and never at night. Instead, he was either sleeping, touring, or out partying with other women. They split up and reconciled countless times, but Shanna ultimately got tired of being cheated on all the time. Not to mention, he was repeating the same toxic cycle that he had with Melissa. Travis had completely lost interest in being a devoted husband to Shanna after their kids were born. He also didn't seem to want to be very involved as a father, which she never expected for him in the beginning of their relationship. Shanna claimed during the podcast episode that Travis was able to win over his kids by buying them whatever they wanted and being more of a cool friend than a dad. But she also said that he was no longer cordial with her after he started dating Courtney. And by now, we all know what the beginning of Travis and Courtney's relationship was like. When Courtney and Travis began dating in January 2021, they were basically inseparable. They spent as much time together as possible, just like Shanna had experienced when she first started seeing Travis. Before long, he was mirroring almost everything he had previously done with Shanna in his new romance with Courtney. Only three months into their relationship, Travis got Courtney's name tattooed on his chest, but he also had the tattoo of Shanna's name covered up with a scorpion tattoo that was right next to an ink print of Courtney's lips. That same month, Travis surprised Courtney with a really romantic gesture for her birthday. He had a plane fly over the house pulling a banner behind it that read, happy birthday Courtney. But what happened a few weeks later was honestly insane. That May, Shanna told People Magazine that she thought some of the things Travis and Courtney were doing seemed weird. She explained that there were so many similarities between her past romance with Travis and his new relationship with Courtney. It turns out that Travis had previously used a plane with a banner to relay a message to Shanna. She mentioned that that moment had even been filmed for the reality show Meet the Barkers.
first, but that wasn't the only move that he recycled from his past relationships. Just like Travis had done with Melissa and Shanna, he and Courtney were constantly all over each other. It didn't matter what the event or appearance was, the amount of PDA they showed was intense and excessive. But Travis was also love bombing Courtney in other unbelievable ways. Travis regularly posted photos of Courtney on social media and wrote lengthy captions about how much he loved her. He always seemed to be showering her with sweet compliments, surprise gifts, and tons of her favorite flowers. It's no wonder Courtney felt so special considering how extreme Travis was with his affection and attention. But based on what Shanna recently revealed on the podcast and what she said in the past, that was simply one of Travis's manipulation tactics. When Shanna spoke to People Magazine, she mentioned that Travis and Courtney had been publicly bonding over the movie True Romance. Two months earlier, Travis had debuted a new tattoo on his leg of the words, you're so cool, in Courtney's handwriting. Interestingly, that was a reference to both a quote and a song from the movie. However, the same movie was the theme of Shanna and Travis's wedding. They even walked down the aisle to You're So Cool and had their first dance to another song from the movie's soundtrack, but that wasn't all. Shanna also mentioned in a 2021 interview with Us Weekly that her nickname for Travis was Clarence, who was the character in True Romance. Not only that, but their daughter Alabama was named after another character, but that didn't seem to matter at all to Travis and Courtney. What they did just a few months later was seriously strange. From Halloween 2021, Travis and Courtney dressed up as Clarence and Alabama from True Romance. They also got engaged that month and tied the knot six months later. And of course, just a few months ago, their baby boy Rocky was born. But unfortunately for Courtney, the similarities between her and Travis's relationship to his past romances didn't stop there. Lately, he's been making headlines for constantly abandoning her at home with their baby while he hangs out with his friends. Just like Travis did with Shanna and their children, he's been ditching Courtney and their sons so that he can do whatever he wants. He also hasn't been getting her gifts and publicly showing his love and affection for her like he used to. In the past, Travis has always lost interest shortly after getting married and especially after having kids. Sadly, he truly does seem to be repeating history, which is terrible for Courtney. Based on his toxic relationship pattern, it probably won't be long before he either checks out of their marriage completely or tries to secretly move on with other women. Hopefully, Travis can somehow make a change for the better so he doesn't keep following his harmful manipulative pattern. But obviously, his lack of involvement with Rocky and how detached he seems to be from Courtney aren't very promising signs at all. Anyway, now that we've gotten into Travis's unhealthy relationship pattern and how he's replaying his past with Courtney, I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on the similarities between Travis's behavior during his previous marriages and how he is now with Courtney? Do you think he's going to treat Courtney the same way that he treated both Shanna and Melissa? Let me know in the comments below.